Oh, you rolling raptors. I'm Tim, and I was on my way to a quarter pipe to try and master the front side stall. There it is. First, I just tried to reach the coping, and then I had to roll on top of the coping and try to balance my bit setup, which required some trial and error. Luckily, no limbs nor joints suffered severe damage. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the frontside stall featuring the endless 90 Trinity frame. But why should you try to master stalling on the coping? First of all, because it's fun. Balancing on top of a water pipe just feels great. Secondly, it's a great way to get used to transitions. It's not particularly risky, but you're still getting familiar with the strangeness of rounded surfaces. And thirdly, getting on top of a water pipe and balancing your bit wheels on the coping makes you a much better inline skater. You're up in your control over your skates, you're learning to be more precise. If you survive the skate park, you'll survive the city. Probably. It opens so many new possibilities when you're cruising through the city. And no, you don't need aggressive skates to enjoy the skate park. If you've got wheels under your feet, you're guaranteed to have fun. Believe me, the frontside stall isn't that hard, but it feels awesome when you achieve it. Once you've managed to roll over the coping, you can practice dropping back in again which is also great fun. After I had mastered the frontside stall, I tried nailing the backside stall as well. I started by doing 180s on the quarter pipe. Step by step I was trying to get a little bit higher, until I was nearing the coping. Finally, I tried landing on the coping. I was almost there. Okay, I didn't achieve the backside stall, yet. But I know that one day I'll put it off. One achievement today is good enough for me. Look at those magnificent frames. Beauties, eh? Thanks for watching. Take care and keep rolling. A la prochaine.